Good morning and happy Tuesday, everybody. I have Maddie Grace and Caitlin Sarah with me this morning. And I just want to show off the splurge that I did the other day for my girls. I bought the Evenflow Pursuit Travel System. And one of the reasons why I bought it was because my Caitlin is a little too big for the car seat for me to go from between the two girls without having to do a lot of um, seat belt reconfigurating. So with this system, um, I can have the car seat set for Maddie and I can use my old car seat if I want to for for Caitlin here and one of the things I really like about this is that it is a they call this the toddler seat and if I can just turn it around for a little bit here you can see that that's in the toddler seat mode this little um black strap undoes and it turns it into a bassinet and I can't do that one-handed so I will just pause for a moment and I'll be right back hello I'm back so now what I've done is I've taken off the black strap so now it's more of a bassinet type thing and I've reclined the chair so now she is basically in pram mold is what pram mode is what they call it. And I got another reason why I like this so much was cuz this in this configuration it can face towards whoever's pushing the stroller or if you pull on these little dials here you can switch it around and it can face forward. So it can be forward in the pram mode or it can be forward in the um, toddler seat mode. And because I'm shy when it comes to my outings, I like having them facing, facing uh, me so I can put up, so I can put that up and I can put a blanket over if I'm really feeling, um, What's the word? Uh, conscious or self-conscious about it. So that's really why I uh, was excited about that. And my daughter and I had been researching, and this one was in Canada, is regular three hundred dollars, and I got it for two hundred dollars at Walmart the other day. And so I was pretty excited. So now, once again, because I can't do this with two hands, I will take um, Caitlin off the frame and I will put Maddie on and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Um, this is actually the first time I actually have changed it. My daughter's been tinkering around with it and uh, I would have to say that it does take a little bit of, it's, it clicks in easy enough, but to find the sweet spot to get the, um, the car seat to sit on the supports takes a little finagling sometimes. But other than that, it's great. Um, it also with this it also releases from the frame the same as it releases from the um, with this this right here it releases off the um, base and releases off the frame so it's a dual um, dual mechanism for that and with the 
I'll try to back up here a little bit. With the car seat, it does sit quite a bit lower, but it does not impede your uh, your basket in any way. It did come with a little plastic cup holder to go on here, but it was really hard to click on. We never did actually get it clicked on, and I thought with it being protruding out that way so much that uh, when I fold it to put it in the car, it's probably going to get broken off. So I'm going to be getting a, um, I don't know what they call it, but it's the little bag thing that stretches across here that does exactly what the mummy tray does. So being that I saved a hundred dollars on the stroller I can probably afford to get one of those but I just love it it's so smooth uh, pushing I haven't been outside with it yet because as of this recording which is April 2nd we have still oh probably seven or eight inches of snow and it's just when you think it's going to go away, it snows again, so we're still not truly into spring yet. And there's the base, pretty chunky base. But that's all I wanted to do today was to show off my new travel system. And thanks for watching.